So this is the first night and uh, <coughs> literally arrived about an hour ago and then <laughs> the next train is arriving at two o'clock, it's 1.45 now and <coughs> we're going to go and meet them outside and guide them towards the area where they can get something warm to eat and uh, they can rest and lie on benches they don't look particularly comfortable <laughs> uh, and there's some blankets we've got an awesome system with the blankets that the uh, huge um, like a skip that they just chuck the blankets in when they're finished with and then they go off for laundry I'm seeing lots of uh, really amazing buildings well they're not buildings structures here compared to um, Calais and Dunkirk and uh, it looks quite well organised. Hats off to everybody. And we've already seen a few refugees Mommy, do my on the way. <laughs> and um, we pulled over to tell them where the camp was when we were coming back from the airport. That was quite moving, really. Um, airport. Obviously, it's the middle of the night and people are walking along the main road with a back. No, this is all my fault. <laughs> the night. Uh, Harris is not tired. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to meet these children and, Dad, you and, and me other too. people coming off the train. How is uh, it? <coughs> hopefully, not you cry in front of them here. if I can manage what it. What you do <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's quite cosy in here. There's a little bit of a, a bed made up of um, blankets and things. And uh, we're trying to make the room. Warm. I'll just scan around. It's not for you, Harrison. There's some clothes and things. And boxes over there. Okay. And my son. Please, a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the boys. <laughs>